Hello and welcome back. Before we delve into the creation of custom projects, let us first look at how we build and load those projects to the unit. The Log SDK comes with an example custom oscillator called Waves, which we will use for our demo. In order to build any project for the unit, we require certain files. Those are project.mk, manifest.json, a makefile, and of course the source code. We look at what these files do in more detail in the next article. For now it's enough to know that the makefile is a project build automation tool that controls the generation of executables and other non-source files of a program from the program's source files. It uses project.mk to simplify customization and manifest.json to detail properties and parameters of the project. First, we want to open the following subdirectory in emsys log sdk slash platform slash newtext dash digital slash demos slash waves. This is where the project files are stored. You'll see the make file, manifest.json, and project.mk here, as well as C source code and header files, and two other folders which contain the non source files we need to build the end product. In the Minty terminal of emsys, run the command make. There should now be a new folder called build in the waves directory, as well as a waves-ntk dig unit file. This is the end product and what we will be loading onto the new tech. Next, we want to load the ntk dig unit file to the unit. There are two ways we can do this we can use the librarian or the log CLI. We're going to do it both ways and this will also provide us with an opportunity to demonstrate unloading unit files and using CLI commands. We will begin with the librarian. Connect the NTS one first and then launch the librarian from the start menu. Assuming no custom projects are loaded to the device, the application should look like this. Drag and drop the waves.ntk dig unit file onto slot 1 in the librarian and click send all. This will upload the file to the new tech. You can directly check that the new oscillator has been successfully uploaded to the unit. To unload the waves file, select it in the librarian and from the edit drop down menu choose the clear option and then click the send all button. The file should now be removed from the unit. The log CLI is somewhat more involved than the librarian, however it provides greater functionality. To use this tool we need to open emsys and navigate to the following subdirectory log sdk forward slash tools forward slash log CLI. In this subdirectory we will find folders containing the 64 bit and 32 bit versions of the CLI. Move into the folder which is appropriate for your system. We will be moving into log-cli-win64-0.07-2b to access the 64-bit version. We can launch the log CLI in emsys by running the following command period forward slash log dash CLI period exe. We have a number of commands available to use, the details of which are linked in the article. Before we load the unit file, we need to know which MIDI ports to use. If we run the command period forward slash log dash CLI space probe space dash L, we can list all the available MIDI ports. In my case, the MIDI in port for the NTS-1 is zero and the MIDI out port is one. To load the waves file to the unit, we need to use the load command with the option dash U and specify the path to the unit file. We also need to specify the in and out MIDI ports, which we found using the probe command. We do this with the command options dash I and dash O, with each followed by the respective port number. Please check the path you specify is valid for your own directory. Next, we can probe the unit to see what items are currently loaded. We can use the probe command specifying the module with the option command dash M followed by the module name. Again, we must specify the MIDI ports. Mm -hmm. 
Now we can remove the waves file from the unit by using the clear command. We specify the module using the dash M option, the slot index using the dash S option, and again we specify the MIDI ports as before. We can once more check the state of the unit by using the probe command we ran earlier. And we can see that waves file has been removed. Now we know how to load and unload projects to the new tech digital via both the librarian and log CLI utilities. We also saw how to probe the unit via the CLI. Let's wrap this article up with a demonstration of the waves oscillator in action.